It's not me dad asking for money again. It's me. It's Claire Redfield. You know me. Couldn't you tell by my voice? Yeah, it's just me, Claire Redfield. Also known as Player One. And today we're going to be playing against the computer. Also known as Resident Evil 2. So, hope you're excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh-oh. 
just as I press start, it goes onto the demo. You alright, Mike? How are we? How's life? How was your day today? Oh yeah, you're on a key. You're on a phone, aren't you? So there's no, there's no conversation. Cool. Well, came here to escape. Sorry. I mean, yeah, I get you. I don't remember what I'm doing because I felt like last time when I was clear, we'd carry straight on from Leon, and so it's all a bit of a blur. And like, the worst thing is when you don't remember what you were doing in the middle of something. Okay, cool. Wonder where everybody is. The best fucking get here soon, cause I fucking gave up my Monday night. Didn't I die at the end? Oh shit, yeah I did. I think, no, did I? Yeah I did. I did, you're right. But I don't remember what it was I was doing. This is bad. This is not good. Okay, well let's check the box if there's any key items that stand out. First of all, get the ink back in there. I guess... I guess we'll just explore. See where we get, where we end up. <laughs> Everything I do is lost in time. So that's the diamond keyhole. Do the hands still come out of the wall here? Because I can't. Don't risk it, innit? There's no point chance, innit? Gonna get back to the, the main hall. Look, I did the timer all on my own. Are you, are you proud of me? This, this should be locked as well. Yep, heart. Spade. It's meant to say spade. That was a, in, a notorious corridor back in the day because it had the little liquor. Was it that corridor? There's nothing more. Edgar Allan Poe there, and nothing more. <clears throat> okay, so it's the main hall. Did Will Smith already die? Or did we visit Will Smith last time and then that's what killed. I feel like it might have been Will Smith that killed us last time. I don't think I've got any. I haven't got any keys, have I? So. Is the ladder up? Yeah, the ladder's up. Let's explore the first floor before we go on the ladder. Secure the perimeter, episode 482 million. I don't know guys, I just feel like the perimeter might not be quite as secure as it could be. I guess you're right. Better check the whole place again. Let's just enjoy, while we go through these rooms that we've seen a million times, let's just try and enjoy the scenery and pick out things that we might have missed. Look, there's a, a, a map of the United States up there. See if you can shoot Florida. So this safe, did we open it? 
We must have done because it's not even responding. Yeah, we did open it, I think. Ah. Always pays to be thorough. What was the flag? I must have missed it. Must have missed the flag. Oh, oh, it was the map, wasn't it? It doesn't. It's not the same. The law states it's when you see a flag. Although you know, you can always sing the anthem voluntarily as well. Do you like that? So this is the way I came in, so I don't think there's going to be much to... I think there's just a collapsed wall, but because we're securing the perimeter, let's be thorough. Uh, there may well have been. I, I might have picked the first one up the first time, because there's not any more. Okay. Right, so this is getting towards places that I haven't been yet. Let's just keep... Let's try the side way. Where the helicopter was. Just so that we can tick it off. Okay, yeah. I can't open it because of the debris. That was just for you. That was fan service. Debris. What was the what was the word that I uh, mispronounced the other day? It wasn't papyrus. There was something else. Okay, so that goes that way. And what's round this way? Oh yeah. This is where the jewels go. I can hear wind blowing. Is there a window? Oh yeah, the, the, oh, that's a nice touch. The ceiling. That's why you can hear the wind. What don't you know? Okay, fella. Oh, bye, bye, sail. I think I'm gonna. After we finish Resident Evil 2. No one's listening anyway, but I think I might take a break and re rebuild everything. Because right now I'm streaming, sque I'm squeezing streams in when I'm not quite prepared for them or haven't really got the time. But it's not ideal. Welcome back, pal. Ah, there's still people up here. I say people because, you know, zombies are people too. If frogs are people, then I don't see why zombies can't be people. Interesting stained glass. I don't know, mate. I'm sure they'll arrive at some point. I want to be annoyed because I literally wasn't even going to stream and then I felt bad because I haven't said when I was going to be on. So I thought, okay, I'll do eight and a half hours in work and then I'll come on with stream. And then no one's here. But I can't complain because the amount of times that people have came and watched, they gave up their time to support me. 
So I've just got to keep that in mind, and I've just got to stay strong. Okay, so this is the unicorn medal. Well, if you go down the ladder, you goddamn right. So, it was nice of them to make a unicorn slot exactly the shape. Very cryptic, no wonder no one had ever solved this, but I just happen to have the biggest brain out of anyone in Raccoon City, so that's why. What has puzzled every other resident since forever is just going to get solved easily. Oh my god. The spade key. Okay, so let's check. So it's that one on the west wing. It looks like that's it. Well, before we do that, see, I'm getting me bearings back now. I'm getting an idea of what we're doing. Before we go and check that. Spade key door. Uh, let's go back up and check these double doors and just just secure the top, the, the first floor of the of the perimeter. Is that okay? Sometimes you can't you can't secure the whole perimeter. I wish they'd leave the dead bodies where they are. It'd be more atmospheric. Not like it's a drain on the polygons. There's only about ten polygons on screen at once. Okay, so this room we haven't explored yet. Let's, so let's do that now. Yeah, I'll take that. Got this nice fat one for later. It's a mixture of three different strains, mate. Blows your head off. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Nah, it definitely could. If you play uh, play Doom on the PlayStation One. Okay. The the sp the corpses are sprites in Doom, but every single one, and you could there could be hundreds and hundreds. Every single one will stay where it was killed. It was laziness. No, I don't know what it was. It might have been, there might have been a reason. Company data files primarily on Umbrella Inc. Just take all of these and get them back to the police station. Oh, this is the police station. Okay. Never mind. No, no, I mean, there's one, two, three, four shelves of books there, but I haven't glanced at them. None of them appear to be useful. Just in case there's anything in between these bookshelves. This little air vent there. Sherry could fit through there. Sherry. Sometimes when I when I play games like this, but they're all the detailed pre-rendered backgrounds, it does make me think like when they were designing them. Like who has who decides what's going to be in it? Where do they get their inspiration? Some of the things that you see on the shelves or on the walls that are supposed to give it character. Sometimes I wonder like where have they got those ideas? Obviously, a lot of the time it's just common sense, but sometimes you'll see like a quite quirky or interesting object or thing that makes it seems to like give a lot of personality to the people who might have lived or used that building. And I wonder, like, how do they make those decisions? That'd be the hard part, I think. All right, got it. Wait. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, look who it is. All right, Slinky. You okay, mate? Well, the, the switch didn't do anything. Huh? Oh, it did do something. I was, I was talking to Slinky at the time. That's why I didn't see. <laughs> you alright, mate? Good to see you. If you look at the yellow and blue lights on that far wall, it just looks like a JPG, doesn't it? It's just a JPG. Oh, well, that's nice, mate. Well, I'm glad you made it. Getting a bit worried for a minute. And so as for not saying when we're going to be on. Oh, look, I've done it wrong. I was using the leftmost one as my reference point, not the right one. That's more. That's the mistake I made. Whoa, everyone's turning up now. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God, not this shit again. <laughs> nah, yeah, sorry, Slink, I didn't mean to worry yet. I've just uh, been busy, mate. You know how it is? So now I've got more, more rooms to explore. But I don't want to yet because I'm full. So let's go back to the item room. Uh, I haven't been nowhere, mate. I've just been uh, just been busy. I, I think I'm, I'm, I might well have the coronavirus. No, I can't. I'm not going to say that even joking because Twitch will probably like delete me. Uh, I, I am a bit under the weather. But it's not Corona. <laughs> Although every time I cough, uh, people are doing like 360s. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, all that. That's what happened. I'm always under the weather. I know. I think it's because I live in the north of England and the air quality is literally illegal. But because of the government, that's just, we're allowed to die. We're all allowed to die. The air you breathe, you can't even breathe it. Unlucky. Alabama, yeah, is in the north of, of New England, sorry. Did I, I mean, oh no. It's because I'm from Alabama that I don't know where Alabama is. I thought it was New England, I got confused, sorry. But yeah, no, I live in Flint. That's what I meant, and I've been having a drink. I've been thirsty. That's why I'm sick. Uh, okay. Flint. Flint, Michigan, Alabama. Ala Obama. That was a bit of French there for you. The valve handle, I think I've used that. The cabin key I've used. So what's this serpent stone? What will that be for? <laughs> Shut up. A six inch stone with a snake etched on the side. I can't remember what that's for, so I'll put it back in the box. How come you're on the mobile app? Are you in the pub? Again? I haven't downloaded the app because obviously it's going to be shit. I could have told you that. Without even knowing a single thing about the app, I could have convincingly given advice that it will be shit. I love the idea of Mike, <laughs> Mike and his family all sat down. So, who's this then? Yeah, it's me mate. It looks like a girl. No, that's not really him. <laughs> no swear. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we were carrying on exploring the West Wing. 
the sound of stuff dying. Will you use the lockpick? Yep. Okay, at least it's something that is not going to take up another item shot, slot. Why isn't Chromecast working? You need the big screen to get the high definition resolution graphics in 1080 DP. Otherwise, Claire's going to look pixelated. Oh, Claire, don't look pixelated. It's too late. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Just checking. Got to secure that perimeter. I like it when there's less options. I thought that corridor was going to go round to the side then. Okay. This our room. So this is... Where we put the crankshaft, but we haven't got it yet. So I'm guessing that I'll probably find it. I know how computer games work. I'll find it in the room with the... Spade key, probably. So I think I've explored. Wait. I think I've explored everywhere that there is to, to explore. Except for... Let's just have a little quick look at Claire's polygon model. I do remember as a young lad thinking, yeah, they've got they've done better legs than Lara Croft there. Lara Croft's legs were a little bit angular. Also, clearly with these with this outfit, like who has ever in the history of the human race wore an outfit like this? I understand the top half of it, the bottom half of it. I don't understand. But it's it's fan service and it creates quite a nice arse shape people to enjoy but like is it a jacket or is it like I don't get I just don't it's like a, an all in one I don't know I would eat cereal out of Claire's armpit bowl I would pay for the opportunity why am I reading this Okay, you can read that if you if you like. I'm not gonna read it. Where's this other room? Okay, never mind. So it's back to the ground floor. So handy having this ladder. And I don't know where Mr. X is. Do you reckon Mr. X is like turning the whole the other side of the police station upside down? Like, where is she? I haven't seen him for about an hour now. J.O. J -O Q has got loads of little quotes like that, you know. I, I don't know where why he's got so many. It's a bit disturbing. Maybe he's the author. I know. But that's my that's my uh, signature thing to do in it is to oh shit. Is to say exactly what I don't want to happen. And then it happens. Mate, just stay down. Uh oh.
So this is the door. This is the door for me to keep the discarded key. Hello. Use the precinct key. It's useless now. Discard? No. There's, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think he's free roaming, and it is mostly set piece, but I think you're right, I think there is some kind of random element to it, or there's some kind of, if you keep going the same room again and again and again without progressing the story, he will eventually appear again, somewhere that he's already been, or something like that. Because you can get to a point where you think everywhere's safe and just wander around non-stop, and he will turn up again. I'm pretty sure. Also, I didn't read this last time. Oh yeah, I think I read that last time as Leon. But it's worth looking looking up. If if Ziggy wants to uh, look up Mr. X, and we can find exactly what the deal is. Cool. Thanks, Ziggy. Visual materials. Now you're Ziggy. <laughs> Whoever's getting the info is Ziggy. Haven't you ever watched Quantum Leap? It was like Wikipedia before Wikipedia existed. Fair enough. Puh, YouTube? I, I don't know. Will you take the lighter? Leon must have left this here. Oh, it isn't. Okay. So there's. I can think of one thing that I'm gonna light. I can't think of. Wasn't there two things that I lit? Yeah, I think if you wanted to watch Quantum Leap, you'd either have to try YouTube or like buy the uh oh buy the DVD or something. But I hate the way they don't have any invincibility frames or any like knockback or anything. Hulu. Yeah, that's just yank stuff, that. No, I well, well. The thing is, mate. What what bothers me about it is that the zombies get about twenty. Uh, no, the zombies get about literally three or four seconds of invincibility frames. Seconds. That's what bothers me. You know, if you're gonna set a rule, it's got to be equal for all involved parties. If you're gonna have a different rule for different things, then you, you're acknowledging that you're a gimp. And that you're a cheat, and that you're cheap, and that's not, you know, I'm not acknowledging that. It's self-evident in the game design. Okay, so this is discardable now, so I can put that there. So I've got the lighter. Can't remember where it goes. Yeah, I can. Let me just grab a little green herb. Just quickly roll this. Oh, that that was good. It, it didn't even. It only took invisible. It only restored invisible health points. Gerard taught me how to do this. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not fair. Uh oh. This is not the kind of game where you can just charge through. Hmm. 
The one time I mentioned Steve Gerrard. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll... <coughs> I mean, you're saying it like as if slightly patronising and insulting, but you, you also don't know when I died last time, <laughs> so... <laughs> Might be a good idea if you know what I don't know before you skip me for not knowing it. Oh, fuck off. Got me round the corner, blindsided. Isn't there something on this about shooting them in the knees? Is he dead or... Yeah. Slinky, if it was up to me, mate, I'd quit my job and I'd stream every day. If only. If only. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Da, da, da. Ah, ba, ba. Considering you have enough to retire. <laughs> I haven't even got like one month's wages in, in bits. I mean... I'm considering it's just from streaming, I, I, it's a lot, and I'm really, really happy and proud and grateful for the amount I've got. But in terms of like quitting my actual job to live off, we're a long, long way away. I don't think we're under any illusion that we're not. It's going to take more than just you to fund this channel, Slinky. <laughs> Mike, Mike's uh, exhausted his savings, to be fair to him. Helmach throws in when she can. No. Slinky, no. Now I feel like I was, I was fishing for bits, but I really wasn't. Thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate that. That's very good of you. What you need to do, right? You need to move to Silicon Valley. Get well in with all of the, the geeks up there. All of the dead rich geeks. Tell them about the stream. And then they can help you with lifting the bit weight. It's not fair for it to all just be you. Okay, so I've got the red jewel now. But I've only got one of them. Uh, where is the room with? Where is the room with the jewels? I can't remember now. I want to say it's on the west wing, but I guess it's not. I guess it's on the east side, so we'll just head over there, I suppose. <coughs> you do want to work Silicon, Silicon Valley but you also really don't. I feel like it'd be a great way to meet a nerdy wifey, but also maybe I don't want that. It, oh shit. It almost definitely would be a way to do that, but then I feel like the people. Okay, I am the reincarnation of Steven Gerrard. It's confirmed. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there'd be some boss people there, but there'd also be a lot of annoying people. And there's nothing worse, because the thing is amongst the nerd community is you've got a lot of people who are absolutely clueless, but they think that they know better than you, and that they're going to tell you. Like, every single time they chat to you, it's as if they're furnishing you with information out of gratitude. There's a few people like that in our work, and I'd imagine somewhere like Silicon Valley, that's all that there is. 
But maybe I'm being pre-prejudiced. Maybe I'm being judgmental. Yeah, I was sick that one. I told you I was good at the game. Wouldn't it be a much bigger cost of living to move do down those ways anyway? Let's... Do you know what? Let's save it. Because we haven't saved it for a while. <laughs> With your BDE. What's, what's a BDE? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I do. I I, I do I pl employ the exact same tactic, and it works, you know. I've been living my life that way for years before it was even a phrase that I'd heard, and then once I heard it for the first time, I was like, "Oh yes, finally, I'm I'm gonna become cool." But it never happened. Okay, so I think it's this way. And it's up it's the top floor, isn't it? Not top floor, but second floor. Have I got the jewel still? Yep, yeah, still got it. Oh, I've still got the fucking ink ribbon as well. I'm hoping <clears throat> when I put this gem into this statue, it's going to give me an item. Wrong way. No, yeah, this is where I want to go. Yeah, yeah. See, see, I'm getting good at navigating. It's going to give you big... I've already got the BDE. Even as Claire Redfield, I've got massive BDE. It's unfathomable. A woman relief. There's a hole about the size of a fist. A blood red jewel about the size of a. F well, <coughs> that's interesting. <clears throat> I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna think about what that means. I know what it means. I'm not gonna say it. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, one ju one jewel's in there. Wait. Wasn't the other jewel by the statues? Maybe not. It means big cool eggs. Cause women have eggs. So that's that's what it means. Big cool eggs. <laughs> yep, got it right first time. Okay, so I've got like a, a, a clay block, but I don't know what to do with, and I haven't got the crankshaft yet. Maybe the the valve handle would work in place of the crankshaft. It's probably got a different connector. It's probably designed by Apple. But other than that, I don't know. I know there's another thing that I can burn, but I can't remember where it was or what it is.
This tune reminds me of a tune. Oh, hello. Reminds me of a tune of a uh, Janagears. Stay back. Have you ever played any of the Resident Evil, Slinky? Hello. You played the first four? Okay, when you say played, do you mean completed or just like are familiar with? Completed. <coughs> what? What did you... I haven't played 3, so I can't comment on that one, but... What did you prefer out of 1 and 2? Okay. Fucking hell. They're hiding behind each other. Yeah, that cheat. Every time I have to reload. That's the only time you get me. Because it... I see. See, I played them both when they came out. I just want to explore this room one more time. I played them both when they came out, so there's no, like, nostalgia difference between them for me. <coughs> Growing up, I always felt like one was really good, but two, like, took what it had established and built on it and made it better. So what two was, like, the more polished. And that, that's still true. But I also I feel like one just nailed the atmosphere, and two, I feel like, has dropped the ball a bit. Like, the music's scary, but I've got more bullets than I'm ever going to need. There was a room there of, like, seven zombies and I'm just like I'm not even slightly uncomfortable like I, I just stand there watching them and I'll just pop 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 whereas on Resident Evil 1 I felt like one zombie had the power of making me really panic and I feel like this could have been because it is more polished than the first one but I feel like they tried to make it easier to make it more accessible and in doing so they've kind of ripped the heart out of the whole concept I feel like if Resident Evil starring Kirby or you know Pokemon I've used all my pistol bullets. Remember that's how I was saying I got so much bullets that it doesn't even matter? Well, I lied. Everything I just said for the last 20 minutes, it's all a load of shit. Really? Didn't expect that from you. Well, you should have been watching. Oh, hello. So that's, it. that's good, actually, because now it... It should become a little bit more interesting. Rather than just a casual stroll through an empty police station. I might actually feel like I'm under siege. Oh shit. Okay, to that. I take back everything that I said. I want it to be back to an empty police station. <coughs> Where I've got loads of bullets. Need to get to a box now. Check me weapon situation. It's just, I, I do it to myself, don't I? No, 
know, but that's actually, I I'm glad this has happened, to be fair, because now I'm actually scared of the zombies, and I don't want to go to that room, and that's the whole point of the game, that's how you're supposed to feel, you're supposed to feel like, oh god, what's behind this door? Oh yeah, god, if Mr. X showed up now. Right. Okay, so in terms of alternate weapons, I've got fuck all. Cheers. Remember, uh, do you remember in the other playthrough when it was like, <coughs> if you leave the stuff here, then you can take it for, uh, yeah, I've seen the knife, but that literally, if a pistol shot does 10 points of damage, a knife does 0 0.0000001 points of damage. Um, but yeah, what was it? Can't remember. I just don't know anymore. Oh yeah, that was it. I was on the Leon playthrough. It was like, do you want to take this super powerful weapon or leave it for Claire? Uh, leave it for Claire. She she might need it. Okay, you've left it for Claire. Now you are clear. Enjoy having a knife and a pistol for most of the game. Right. This fella's not getting me. He's trying to do a Metal Gear Solid where he's pressed up against the wall to see around the corner. Pre-rendered graphics, mate, it doesn't work. Oh, shit, shit, shit. So that door in the corner is the purple key, whichever that is. I haven't been up the stairs yet. So I want to go to the left. Yep, I am epic. Uh-oh. to go into the little room underneath. Oh, fuck off. You can't be that close. That's cheating. Are they going to still be in the exact same place again? Die. Great. Get intense. See ya. I'm using me acid, not me acid round. Whatever these bazooka rounds or whatever, I need to save them for the boss. And I'm using them on regular zombies. Isn't there something in here? It's locked. Special kind of key. I think that's DLC stuff. Not DLC, but you know what I mean. I have been in this room loads of times. Not going well. Mr. X shows up now, I'm fucked. No. Right, well, we haven't been around here yet. Okay, so this is where the second jewel is. <laughs> Probably. There's a few, <coughs> excuse me, who look like that. <coughs> but the other ones are just outside. So I guess that one must have been detained <laughs> for soliciting. I think last time when I died, I'd been up here, so I guess I was just being a lot more random in terms of exploring. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? I 
wonder what state Raccoon is meant to be. Or does it actually say as part of the law? Ooh. Bullets. Haha. -ha. See, now, I was actually excited to pick them up then. Whereas, up to this point, I've just been like, yeah, more bullets, whatever. Add them to the pile. I see. I always find when it comes to dealing with America, and this is maybe just an impression that, a wrong impression, because I'm a foreigner, but when it comes to American stuff, it feels like all of the different characteristics of the different states are sort of whitewashed away in a lot of like television and film to make it into a sort of sanitized, generic, this could be any state, and these are just the generic accents. Will you take the virgin heart? How did they know? Like, if you watch older films, here we go again, back in my day. But if you watch older films, they always start off with, like, normal people who've got normal jobs in, like, a, a shit apartment where that's messy. And, like, getting, it'll show them going to work, getting on the subway, going to get milk, blah, blah. Nowadays, everyone's just a. A, a generic middle class doing well for themselves person who lives in a big house and like all of that character is stripped out of everything that's how I feel hiya nightbot he can't stay so you just gotta let him go he, he can't stay so Well, that's great. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with doing well for yourself. I'm not even talking about you here. I'm talking about in general. I just feel like all of the normal people who you're supposed to relate to from Hollywood nowadays are like generic 2.4 white picket fence families, whereas back in the day you would see more people who would live in apartments struggling to make ends meet. Maybe the house wasn't perfect. Maybe their life wasn't ideal. Nowadays, everyone's just a cookie cutter, ideal character, or they've got some sort of backstory that's a, cru a crucial part of the plot. Leon. Leon. Yeah, because we did this last time, didn't we? Because he touched a boob. It looks like we're not. You read his diary? Leon, that's pretty fucked up. Give me that. Talk to the chief today once again. Will you refuse to listen to me? I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion put up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since a brother place with many people in the town, no one is going to talk about the incident. Looks like a burned out of options. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing and running throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. With the help of Jill Mary, we finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, the creation of the original G virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? I, I'm actually picturing him writing question mark. And then exclamation mark in his diary. I'm picturing that right now. We talked it over. And I decided to fight with Mater Brill HQ Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, care. What? Well, doing so could put her in danger, but I will write her name in my diary and leave it at the police HQ where we already know the chief of police is conspiring with Umbrella. So I'll just name her in a document at the one place that they're gonna look to protect her. Cheers, Chris. 
Well, I'm not safe, so it worked. Also, so that the Umbrella HQ is in Europe. Do you know who I think they were, they were going for? Maybe it's Bayer. Is it Bayer? There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Can you stop touching Let's my boot? Up, look for any survivors and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. Radio? That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. What am I supposed to do with this radio? That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. There are various devices. This must be where they gathered information. Yeah, definitely where they gather information. Can I just rob a little sweet off that desk? <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Topweed. I'm alive, mate. How are you? Will you take the bowgun? Yes. Wait. I'm pretty sure that Leon also took the bowgun. Maybe you can both take it. What's this? <sighs> oh, shit. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. The NRA? Those lobbyists? Oh, see, can you see? Oh, look, it's all the team. Um, <coughs> nah, it was a bogan. Oh, no, I'll tell you what it was. It was before I died. So it was clear that I, I used it with. I knew I'd used it. That's my brother. Anything else I can grab around here? Can I take the guitar? Right, so I need to go back to a box then, don't I? Yeah, sorry Topoid for not um, being in touch. Just had a busy week. Ah! Huh? Help me! Uh, there was a massive gap to run towards me, but you've yeah. ran away, okay. You leave her alone. I actually find Sherry, if that's her name, to be one of the most annoying characters in the history of all video games. Okay. <coughs> she ran through the door on her own. So I was just having a dying fit. Oh, so, okay, that unlocks. Okay. She slid down the shaft. Oh, shit. Wait. I don't... This doesn't make any sense. Right, the bow guns. Yeah, this is where I was. This is where I died last time. Because I had the bow gun on the three, and I thought it was going to be good, and it wasn't. But we're going to do it again. Because we don't learn from our mistakes. Fellas, come on. We can talk about this. that used all them weapons gone can you get more bullets for it you just got a kind of blue coke I've got none left and on the notice board 
None of this information looks useful. Okay, yeah, this is where I was before, isn't it? Check the magazine rack, there might be some magazines. Am I the only one who finds Sherry, Cheryl, whatever she's called, annoying? Is everyone just going to leave that to me? Make me feel like I'm just the one who hates kids. Yeah, no. Sorry, mate. I think he's devastated. This is his whole purpose of living, is to make those jokes. Um, I hadn't considered that topoid, so I'll have to weigh that one up and get back to you. I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you feel like... She might, she might be to blame. I feel like she's still the majority of the blame. Should go to Helmach. Also, look, I haven't died yet on this stream, and Helmach's not here. Coincidence? Don't think so. La 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 Nice <coughs> Ah, I, li I like kids Some kids can be annoying, but so can some adults So Bowgun was e epic, we've had a boss time Okay, well, that's something for you to both bond over. <laughs> I won't be joining you. So has to be that guy. I do like, though, that, um... What is it? Theoretical scenario where, like, people say, how many, like, five-year-olds do you think you could beat up at once if you had to? And I like the idea of that. Right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna s I'm gonna save in a minute. A pedophile. <laughs> okay, so this is the way we put the virgin heart. FMV time. I've noticed on this game they've spent time doing like FMV clips of like a statue opening a few times and I just feel a bit like, I mean it's nice but expend your resources better. Normally it's the parents' fault. <clears throat> How far into the game? I'm not the best person to ask. I, I reckon we're, we're about two-thirds in, I'd say. But I'm not the best person to ask. So what was my next objective that I was trying to do? Uh, I've got a kit. Yeah, there's a key. Where was it? It was across the hall on the second floor. <laughs> Look at that, it's getting heavy. That's why I hate children. Because I was one once, and I hate myself. 
And I hate who I was as a kid. That's why I hate your children. Wait, what was it? Where was it? Where, where was we going? This way, I think. Yeah, and then the stars office, there's a key. There's a key on Chris's desk. See, my memory's getting better. It's almost completely fixed. Leon! Leon! I love the way the, uh, the key shines so bright. My own key shone up right, I'd never lose it. Will you take the precinct key? Sure. It's in the shape of a diamond. And I've just realised as well that the colours match. Well, I didn't just realise, I realised last time, but the colours match the key. So there's two doors that we can now access. Yeah, this is a good bit of music. <laughs> I like that little... What is it? Like that. Lovely. Okay, I'm moving now. That was enough. <clears throat> Could you hear that? At all? Yes, no. Uh oh, phone's ringing. Fax machine. This is the top secret instruction that we're just going to send over the fax to whoever happens to be in the office. If you're not the person at the top of this piece of paper, stop reading. You're welcome. What you're supposed to say is, wow, you picked up the melody in just a few seconds? That's incredibly impressive. But, never mind. Raccoon City and Police Department start fish. I already read this on the last playthrough. Wait, who is this? Federal. So this is the FBI writing to Chris. Chris, you fucking bangers and mash mate. Do not use your official police account to conduct your private investigation against the local bigwigs, you idiot. And I can't believe the FBI just reply. So yeah, the, the FBI sent a fax telling them that the chief of police is corrupt. They sent it to the police fax machine. That's like... I don't know what it's like. I don't think there is a precedent to even compare it to. I, I, there's, 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 the, I don't know what it's like. Okay. 
Yeah, good point. The phone lines. What? What's happening, Tim? You okay, fella? FBI at Yahoo. Are you? <laughs> good to see you, mate. Uh, okay, so we want to go back to the f first floor. Yeah, we want to get back on the first floor. What's that emoji supposed to be? Is that supposed to be someone in bed? Wrong way. We haven't seen Mr. X for a while, so maybe Miner Slinky's theory is incorrect. Did you ever find out? Did you do any more digging, Ziggy? Sure, I haven't really implemented channel points. If you just can think of things, then I'll happily try and implement them. Leon's scenario, please, Tim. Get you, you know, you're talking to a massive Resident Evil fans here, disrespecting the the, the law of the game, the guy, <laughs> whatever, you know, the fella. Um, yeah, we did. We've done the, we've done A. This is B, clear B. We've done Leon A. This is clear B. Yeah, I've got the. I think every channel gets the points, Topoid, or at least <coughs> can have them. But I don't know what you're going to use them on. If you can suggest good ideas for what they could be cashed in on, I'll, I'll look into setting that up. But I haven't thought of what they could be used on yet. Okay. So end of the hall. <laughs> I mean, I, w I just wouldn't know what to do. There's no point putting in options for chat says something because chat will just disobey. It'll be. Come on, everyone, play the game. He's used his points. Do what he said, and everyone will just do the opposite. Diamond key. It's a heavy, heavily fortified door. Will you take... The first aid spray, yes. Ah! Ah! Oh shit, I thought I could go round the table. Get off me right now. We just jumped. So essentially now he's jumped through that and broke it. So I can climb through there and just explore that other room, can't I? That's easy to do. I can do that now. Okay. Oh look, it's another block. What's on the other side? All we have to do is make it to the other side. <laughs> I think I was distracted because that didn't really make me jump at all. Oh, I haven't even been here yet. Good idea. Pick the item up. Idiot. Yeah, the films are cheesy, but the... Oh, shit. Don't know what I was worried about. Sometimes I forget that I'm the goddamn greatest video game player that the world's ever seen, and then I get a little bit anxious. Horn 
hunting ground. Duh. What what's the explain the panic system? Is there nothing else in here? Is this just a scare room? Or was the eagle thing on the shelf? I can't remember. I know Clock Tower, but I haven't played it. I really loved the sightjack system in Siren. I'm going to be doing Siren at one point. Also, I'm going to put a new poll up after the stream for us to vote. But it's going to be sequels. A club key. Ah, right, okay. Got you. Well, yeah, I know you, you'd vote Thief 2. That's what it's for. If Thief 2 wins, then... Then it wins. It's not going to be... The, the poll is not going to be for the next game. It's going to be... It's going to be a, a poll that runs over the next few games to decide what sequel we'll play next. System Shock 2 and Thief 2 will be on the poll. Oh, my knees just cracked and it's killing... Footy, footy injury playing up. I'm literally walking around with the grenade launcher because that's all I've got. He was there. You gotta do Half Life to celebrate. Hi, Alex. What's Hi, Alex? Is that another. It's Half Life. Oh, sorry. Well, I couldn't tell that the L wasn't an I from the distance I was looking at. A-L-Y-X. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Why? Why would it be expected that I would know that? It's yous who are the nits. For expecting me to know that. That's yous made the mistake. Because of context. You've got to do Half-Life to celebrate Half-Life release on March 23. So if you see something that you're not sure what it was and you saw something else in the same sentence, they're both the same thing. Okay, got it. It doesn't necessarily have to be a capital I. From the distance I'm looking, it could have been a lowercase I. <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Cheers. Good one, eh? <laughs> These are all knobheads. Oh, these still here. Just gotta get past that one. Come on, this way a little bit, this way, come on. Huh! 
Use the diamond key. Will you discard it? No. What if Mr. X promises to leave me alone if I just give him the key? And then I've already discarded it, do you know what I mean? Right, so there's no point being here. I need to go back to the box. <laughs> yeah, but at least I can say to him, Oh, it's in the box, come with me. Also, I feel like this particular stairwell is just exactly like the one of Resident Evil 1, and I keep expecting this room that I've just come out of to have a box in because of that, and it doesn't. It gets me every time. Whoa! That's the biggest li lich, lord, whatever you call it, that I've ever, ever seen any of them do. Epic save if he was a goalkeeper. Not one's getting past him. I started to doubt whether this would even be a box room, even though I knew it would. Alright. So let's. Well, let's throw that in there, like that. Let's throw that in. This is discardable now. Let's have a look at these. So I was going the box, now I'm here, a six inch stone with a snake, okay, half of an animal is etched on the stone fragment, so that's a three inch, inch stone I guess, and so it's an eagle, rock, flag, an eagle, Must be next objective. Uh, yeah, back to where I was. Because I opened the door, walked in the room, everybody do the dine, and then I uh, had to leave. Because my items were all full, and it was going to give me at least two items, I bet you. I had no choice. Don't you understand that? Do you think I wanted it to be like this? At least that busy's not loom looming around the corner trying to do his Metal Gear Solid move. Nice red converse. See ya. Yeah, but it's, is it this room? Because this particular room with the camera angles and everything reminds me exactly of that same bit with the where the hunter is. Oh, look, Bob, Bogan bolts. Secure the perimeter. Will you use the lockpick? Yep. Oh. Take the plastic bomb? Yeah. Now all I need is a detonator. Will you take? I mean, if you didn't know that you needed a bomb, but you found one anyway, would you take it? It's like, ah, might as well. I suppose in a situation where the city's been overrun by zombies, it's different circumstances. 
exceptional circumstances. But generally, if you were just like looking through your drawer, oh yeah, there's that bomb. I forgot I had that. I'll just, I'll just take it. Oh, we found some film. Are we gonna get to see Chris? Chris when he's just finished doing his training or something like that. for this. Oh. No, I'm going to have to go back. I'm sorry. Steve already died, didn't he? Or did he? Does Claire a playthrough have a different Steve? Who was Steve in the last one? I can't remember. Mm. Fucking cheat. Mm. Claire, you need to pick the herb up. Stupid bitch. I hate using that word, but it was deserved. Reception desk. Bullets, yes. Yes. There's a piece of paper on the desk as well. Uh oh, they're queuing up. Shit. They're like buses. When you want a police officer, you can't find one, and then three come along at once. Keep getting up, it's fine. Fucking hell. Are we done? No, one of them's not switching. I think we're done. Phew. It is a nice touch that he twitch. Can I just read this? Memo to Leon. Well, I'm not Leon, so let's put it back down. I like the EU flag. EU hat. Memo to Leon. Okay, I'm going to read it. To Leon S. Kennedy. Congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We are all looking forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. That's that's nice. No one's ever promised to take good care of me at any of my jobs. Has anyone anyone else ever have their colleagues when they started a new job promised to take care good care of them? Leon really had it made and then this had to happen didn't it it wasn't just a job it was a family yeah but even you know even if they don't actually do it just saying it, it, it I think like that's a nice gesture that's more than I've ever had of any employee in fact I feel like if they said if my employee said I'm going to take real good care of you I'd feel like they were either going to sack me or abuse me in some way Oh, uh, September the 29th, it's the, uh, it's the Michael Festival. Don't ever forget. Employ, employer, employer, because, because these are, this is the Raccoon City to Police Department, and Leon is their employee, so they are the employer. Also, it looks like Will Smith's already dead. Oh, did I not check his office out? Did I forget? I feel like... 
No, he was just sat right there, wasn't he? He was he was right there, so Yeah. It's true, mate. Think about it, if your work wrote you an email saying we're gonna take real good care of you, I'd be like, um I'd rather you didn't. You know what? We haven't saved it for fucking ages, so let's do that. And we'll put the explosive in the box. You know the film room? Does that have a box? Can I drop the film off into this box and pick it up at the other room in the other room? It does doesn't it? Nobody knows. Okay, cool. She is. Uh, oh, there's no save point here, though, is there? <laughs> Silly. So I should have just went to film room the first time. Oh, it's funny though. Um, what's yeah. Yet yeah, so I uh, I told Mrs. Q, didn't I, about the stream. Might even be listening right now. In fact, I'm a bit nervous about that. So it's it's out there. It's being announced. Okay. Where's the film room? I can't remember. Yeah, told her, mate. It's it's been it's official. Where's the film room? <laughs> yep, that must be it. Just gonna go exploring for the film room, see if I can come across it. I don't even remember what floor it's on. But yeah, so um, she was absolutely fine with it. She said um, she didn't know what the fuss was about and I was dead relieved so that's really good I'm happy it's a relief so she might start to come into the chat I don't know we'll have to see but everyone best be very nice if she does that's where the film room is got you Yeah, it's just like, <coughs> yeah, babe, I, I, I've been a streamer now for like a, a while. I want to show you it. Oh, okay, show me. Yeah, it's, this is me, Dr. Disrespect. As you can see, I wear a moustache and like a wig. So, and I put a voice on so it doesn't seem like it's me. 
Wow, babe, you've got loads of views. Yeah, you know. I'm a bit of a big deal. Okay, I know where I'm going. It's funny because, uh, <laughs> they're literally, and this is terribly, this is terrible, but the first thing I showed her in terms of explaining was me, uh, <laughs> the amount of bits that I've earned. <laughs> that was my, like, my way of justifying it. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Whoa, her arm was still on me. Alright, this is a waste, absolute waste of a bullet, but... Well, when I was telling her, I, I was showing her the last stream, and <laughs> on the last stream, I, I just played it to give her like a, a, an idea of what, what what goes on, and she went to, uh, and it was the bit where I was going, where you were all going, how come no one's, no no girls are allowed in the stream queue? And I was like, girl, of course girls are allowed in the stream, and I was saying, any female that wants to come in the stream is welcome any time. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, shut up, shut the fuck up, why are you saying this? But then I qualified, and then I went, on a platonic level, and I was like, oh, thank God. Whew. I'm a good boy, really. But I nearly got myself in deep shit. Right, so let's develop the film. We could be about to see Chris's bicep, and I'm excited. This is why you don't put key items below the line, because then I get confused. Let's develop some film. I can't tell what's on the film until I develop it. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I do. Excuse me. I can develop film here. Use the film. Okay, thanks. Dickhead. Oh, this? Really? I've run all the way across the whole police station for this. Pictured in front of the Ar Arukas Taylor. Regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis in addition to the feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picture by R. Lambert. Yeah, if you show anyone the picture of that fella who just lost his mind and died, make sure you name me. Ah, Lambert's gonna be the next Kevin Carter. Okay, so let's save. There was an encrypted on the table the whole time. I'm just not very thorough with these things lately. Ricky Lambert. I liked Ricky. I felt like he deserved more of a crack of the whip. Of course, he was like basically a crab. But I feel like he didn't really get much of a chance. Okay, it's saved. Next objective. I actually don't know what the next objective is, to be fair. Uh, so there's still a heart door. There's a... Oh, did I get another key? No. There's a heart door that I haven't been in. There's a... 
but I can only assume there's a club door. Two club doors. And I've got like four concrete blocks. Or bits of blocks. And a bomb. And a lighter. But no detonator. And I haven't seen anywhere where I would want to use a bomb or pull, place these blocks. At least I don't think I have. There was no electricity in the library room. That's why the switch wasn't working. Huh. Well, I'm a bit puzzled there. trying to figure out what, you know, what my next move should be, because to move without planning the move, that'd just be foolish, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, there, there is a box in there. I smoke too much weed. I know, yeah, literally, Mr. X has not been here at all. I didn't know what else to name the stream because I couldn't remember what what we were up to with Claire. It was all a blur. I remember finishing Leon off and starting Claire, but I don't remember what we were doing as Claire. So I thought, well, you know what, Mr. X is a character. There you go. I didn't go in his office. I knew he had an office. See? I think that I know what I'm talking about, and then I dismiss. You know why I dismissed it? I'll tell you. This, this is all your fault, actually. All your fault, because I come back through this way, and as I went through this door, I was like, I'm sure he's at, he's got an office that I haven't checked. And then I came back through to check, and I looked there, which is where he was sat, I think, and I felt stupid. I felt like an idiot, and I felt like he's were all gonna laugh at me for forgetting. So I went back out again. So it was your fault. I was going to secure the perimeter properly and, th and thoroughly and come across the office, but I, I, I was scared away from it because you're all bullies. Just letting you know. This is what you've done to my psyche. Oh, God. It's a, it's a Christian channel. It's a photo stand. Possibly a family photo. What's this? A detonator? Good job I put the bomb down before I picked the detonator up. So now I've got a detonator and a bomb. Do I want to blow that corridor up? Where Sherry went? That's the only thing I can think. But then it's like it's just wooden boards over a doorway. A bomb seems excessive. pick the bomb up and check out that corridor and then if I still don't know what the hell then probably save it and call it a night I 
Maar zit de school dat Enough C4 to clear the wall, but it needs a detonator to clear the wall. So there's a particular wall that she's got in mind. It's a charge detonator. It's useless by itself. So she wait, is she talking about Donald Trump's wall? Is this some sort of democratic terrorist operation? She it's the wall. She's not talking about our wall. She's waiting for Donnie to build his wall and then she's gonna blow it up. I haven't seen any anyone wearing a red hat. I knew what I was doing. So this here, I feel like C4 is overkill just to take some wood off of a wall, off of a door. But yeah, they don't need to use this. Okay. Um, maybe the where the helicopter crashed. That's where I've already been, I think. But then again, it does get me. It gets me out. So I suppose Claire's story is that she came to the police station to try and find Chris. He's not here, so she can't. She just leave. What, what's why is she still here? What she did? What she doing? What she trying to do? Because the, the front entrance is still accessible. And I know that that truck happened to, to block that one junction. But trust me, I live in the west. There's more than one junction. Even in your small villages, there'll be more than one junction. my home state of Alabama there's more than one junction that's valid to be fair we haven't seen him for a while maybe Mr. X's quantum Hitler I feel like the quantum Hitler role possibly needs to be redefined because It feels like to give it to anyone less than the big boss is under it is like not right, but it's but it feels like too obvious to give it to the big boss. I wanted it to be to like a side character who's not a main part of the story, but I never feel like happy with someone who could be it. I don't know what was it. Where's the okay. This is the wrong way. <laughs> no, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know what you mean by that, Tim, to be honest, but what I mean is, like, I like the Quantum Hitler character. Ah, Debris. Debris. But I, like, I don't know in the games who to assign that role to. Like, I never feel like anyone in the game quite 
has got enough about them to justify being named Quantum Hitler. Don't need to use it right now. Well, I found a wall. But I can't. So it's not that either. See, I, I feel like... I wanted Quantum Hitler to be like a funny... Kind of like, ah, he got away again. That little sneaky one, I'll get him one day. Type of thing. When it's like an actually fearsome... Character who's part of the actual story. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You see, you, you get it. But it's but there's no there's never anyone like that. I think we do quite well to fit Steven, but uh, Quantum Hitler's another story. Like maybe this is the wall that they want me to blow up. There's no choice but to take out the wall. You don't need to use this right now. Oh god, this game. <coughs> You've got to blow up the wall. Just use your bomb. You don't need to use your bomb right now. Combine the detonator and the bomb. I'm not a suicide bomber. Oh, this game is fucking ridiculous. I, I know, Nightbot, I know. I mean, I guess you would have to connect the detonator to the bomb. So it goes, it knows what bomb it's going to detonate. So, I'll take that back. I'm the ridiculous one. I can clear the wreckage away with this. Bomb and debt. You don't need to use this right now. I feel like I feel like this is the wrong wall now. It should it was that other wall where Sherry escaped. Oh no, it is this one. I was just trying to use it on the wrong pixel. Phew. Good job it gives you three seconds to get out the way, because that was exactly how many seconds I needed. It was one. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't been here yet. As either Leon or Claire. So this is exciting, somewhere new. Oh, that's a nice cosy. Is that an iPod? I swear to God, underneath the raccoon. Or whatever it is. That's an iPhone. See ya. iPhone underneath the raccoon. I made it to iPhone, you might have thought it was a plaque, but it's not. Also, I've only seen Mr. X like once. And I, d I don't think I, d I don't think I even shot at him, I, I ran away. But I do remember when as a, as a kid, him popping up quite a few times, and I've, I've not seen him for ages. I've seen him once. Oh shit. Is that a dead body? Heavy. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. 
her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain... I think you got a miss. ...or by decapitating her completely. <clears throat> and to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. Oh, say, but can... no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. I got a minute, Chief Irons. You've been sat here the whole time while all this shit's going on. Who's Mr. X, for one? Number two, I've read quite a few interesting dossiers about you. Number three, who is this woman? Who is she? And why have you got an iPhone like ten years before they were invented? None of this makes sense. Can I just have a look, a closer look at your American flag, I sec? Please. I'd really like to be alone now. No, but I just want to look at the American flag. It's our country. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. I probably should, shouldn't I, given what I've read, but I can't verify the information. So if it was <coughs> incorrect, that makes me a murderer. Also, I don't know what's going to happen if I do. Right, I was just passing through, Chief. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, alright? If I find out anything about how to cure that thing, I'll be back. He is impeding our freedom. Well, yeah, true, but... He's the chief of police. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to get Leon to do it. A stuffed animal. Taxidermy? Hey, let's pretend we're playing Thief, okay? You get it? Walking on the carpet, lol. It just reminds me of Thief. This is, um, what was his name? Lord Bafford. This is his manor. In fact, you can see where they got the inspiration from, even though I think Thief came out the same year as this. footsteps running, running away from me I'm like that's fine that, no problem I don't mind that keep them running away various objects of art nothing useful a goblet nothing extraordinary Various objects of art. Okay, we've already set, said that. It's kept clean. Good observation. There's Sephiroth. Look. Right there. room's dark. There's a switch on the wall. But before we do that, let's read the secretary's diary. Let's check how long it was before we get into this. Okay. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. The last time was when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. 
I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. And then an empty page. And then that was it. So who was the girl on lying on his, de on his desk? I feel like he did tell me, but I missed that bit. The mayor's daughter. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Why was she there? Has he been feeling her up or something? Has he been blackmailing her? It's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. You have just launched nukes. Uh oh. Oh, say, can you? Wait. Let me go. Whoa, Claire. Easy, let go of her. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. You're gonna get locked away for assault. <laughs> My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. Too From the look dangerous. Of things, I'd say she was <coughs> probably right, but it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. And you're gonna run Sherry, off on your wait. own. Okay. Natural selection says she deserves it. If you finally find another person in a crisis situation and then you decide after seconds of speaking to each other to split up again, then you deserve what's coming. It's just evolution. It's just uh, strengthening the gene pool for the rest of us if you just get destroyed. I did not check the fire. I meant to check the fireplace and then I forgot because the light. Okay, so I need to turn up. Use the light. Oh, I haven't got the lighter on me. God damn it. I bet it doesn't even light anyway, but I've got to go all the way back here with the lighter now, just to make sure. I hope that Sherry get literally gets eaten by Mr. X. I resent the fact that I'm going to have to waste ammo saving her. Stupid kid. Huh? Something shiny over there. Will you take the heart key? Sure will. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not sure I follow. Okay, I'm listening. on crack yeah is that literally that's it like you just randomly decided to say listen it's what you're hearing and that was that was it No, okay. I don't. I don't have a clue what the fuck you're on about. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. This is not what you wanted, isn't it? I'm beginning to think that I might be even infected myself. I think he is. I'll kill everyone in town if this turned out to be true. This guy's unqualified. 
I was successful in spreading confusion amongst the police as planned. I, oh, and then I wrote that down. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but they'll, I'll make sure no one gets out. Since I'm 26, I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain on the floor and pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. This guy's a psycho. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes. Frozen forever in the pose I choose to give it. So this Chief Irons is a fucking nutcase, isn't he? He looked like, you can tell he's unhinged, not just from the fact that he wanted to the whole place to be overrun by zombies, but like... It's just general way he speaks. What I don't get, why was he complaining about the city being overrun by zombies? I thought that's what he wanted to happen. Or is it William Birkin has not followed the plan? Is that the situation? Okay, so this is where you put your three blocks. Nah, I don't think so. Okay. Huh. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like to write one thing on one page and write some, the, the truth on the second page is a really, really, really bad attempt at deception. But because of the w other things that this game has done, I feel like it could be that bad. I don't feel like it is the disease. I, I, I thought that myself, but I don't think it is the disease because we've only just spoke to him moments ago. And he was still perfectly clear spoken. So I'm not buying that he's some sort of super resistant person to the strain when everyone else can last like minutes to hours. So he's wrote on one page, I'm not bothered about, I know I'm gutted the zombies are all here. And the second page, he's changed the story. I think the other people were going to die. He was just infected. Nah, because like the truck driver at the beginning of the game, or... It's just another plot inconsistency to add to the... The truck, yeah, he was bitten. But he wasn't dying. Or do you mean that he's... Infe in injected himself? Well, I thought by you meant dying, because you said, you said, when they're gonna die, I thought you meant like, almost instantly gonna die. So, like, uh, he had a bite on his arm. But he turned. Chief Irons got put, I don't, I don't know, maybe there's more to it that we're not quite getting yet, but I feel like, it's not being very... Not just a case of not being clear. I feel like there's more plot holes than Final Fantasy VII. But with like 1% of the plot. It is. It's a lot. Alright, we're going to find a box, dump our stuff, <coughs> save it, and call it a night. Because it's a school night. Oh, look at that. Here we are. When's next? Eh, I can't say right now. There's a possibility of, an, of it being through the week, but I couldn't say what day right now. 
and then after weekend hopefully at some point but I'm going to I'm, I'm away Saturday night I don't know we'll just have to see I, I, I'll try and keep the discord more up to date and I do apologise about that um, but I can't really commit at this point so we'll just have to have to just take it as it goes uh, she's very busy and she wouldn't do anything this pathetic she's too cool for streaming phew you know what in, sp in spite of there not being that much action and we only saw Mr X we didn't even see him we just heard him in spite of that I feel like we got a lot done there we've definitely progressed So that's it for tonight. Cheers for watching or listening or coming along. And thanks again for them bits, Slinky. Uh, and yeah, sorry that I haven't been that up to date on the Discord lately. I'll try and be better at that. It's good to see you, Tim. Uh, don't be a stranger. Mike, thanks for being here again. And everybody else. I'll let you know in the Discord as soon as I know when it's next going to be on, alright? Take it easy, guys. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.